Hello everyone, ever heard of air dams? How about their lighting designs? If you are a lighting or air dams project contractor, you are in the right place. Air dams are amazing, supported by air. They are among the greenest and most cross effective space solutions. They take just about three months to build, crossing way less than a traditional construction, three times cheaper. In fact, perfect for sports, water park, storage, industrial facility, and temporary facility light, exhibitions, festivals, and more. Now, what do we need to consider before diving into an air dome's lighting project? Usually, fixture could be ceiling, wall, suspended mounting inside the air domes, or ground mounting with or without a pole. The choice depends on the dome's design, layout, and customer's requirements. If you choose ceiling, wall, or suspended mounting, go for the lightweight fixture due to the dome's low support capacity. Also, consider the mounting brackets, cable, or equipment attached to the ceiling. So heavy fixture can cause damage and the risk of falling. Before selecting the fixture, please check the air dome's structural design documents and determine the ceiling row bearing capacity. Our air dome's project features compact flats and high bay lights, weighing less than 25 pounds. Considering air domes comes in different size and application, we determine LED fixture placement based on the desired lighting level and uniformity. For replacement, it is straightforward. Take this tennis court for example. Measure the last under the old lighting and install the new LED fixture to achieve the same data. It's simple. So next, we aim to provide the sufficient lighting, low glare, and uniform distribution throughout the dooms for consistent visibility. Now, the question of the indirect or direct lighting. It depends on the feathers by the size of the site, ceiling height, application, and lighting requirements. Indirect lighting was best for the areas with low ceiling. With the direct lighting, we case glare and shadows, effective visibility. Methods like up lighting or wall washing can provide a uniform and diffuse light, minimizing the shadow and glare and ensuring the even illumination throughout the entire areas. In some cases, like this bracket ready air domes project with the height of 5 meters, we install the lights on both sides to prevent the direct glare. When the player catches the balls up high in the air, all the fixtures have as much optics to ensure sufficient brightness and uniformity. Cool, right? However, be aware that indirect lighting can waste light in the air, especially in the large space that require high level lighting, leading to increased cross. In some cases, direct lighting is more suitable for higher ceiling, improvised bright, focus, illumination, and improves visibility. But how do we reduce glare and shadows? AGC suggests selecting fixture with proper shielding or diffuser to minimize glare. Also, think about the security and continuous lighting at an emergency function and your budget allows. Got questions or lighting tips? Comment below or email us. Catch you in the next one.